Hi students welcome back to our math section i hope all of you did your exam well today we are going to discuss about the 10th chapter real numbers do you know what is a real number the rational number and irrational number together are called real numbers here we have to know about what is a rational number the natural numbers fractions and their negatives with zero as well are collectively called rational numbers but what's a irrational number numbers which cannot be expressed as fraction are called irrational numbers in this chapter we deal with the numbers on a number line the distance between any two points on the number line is the smaller of the numbers denoting them subtracted from the larger but the midpoint of two points on the number line is that point denoted by half the sum of the numbers denoting those points in this chapter we introduce a new sign which is called absolute value of or the modulus which means a digit without any sign let's consider questions in page number 160 In this section we have to find out the distance between the two points on the number line denoted by each pair of numbers. Question number 1. In the first question 1 and minus -5. Large of these is 1. So distance between them is equal to 1 minus minus -5 is equal to 1 plus 5 which is equal to 6. In the second question 1 by 2 and 2 by 3 which is equal to 2 by 3 minus 1 by 2 by cross multiplying we get 4 minus 3 by 6 is equal to 1 by 6 but in the third one the figures are minus 1 by 2 and minus 1 by 3 so minus 1 by 3 is larger so minus 1 by 3 minus minus 1 by 2 is equal to by cross multiplying minus 2 plus 3 by 6 is equal to 1 by 6 in the fourth one the figures are minus 1 by 2 and 3 by 4 large of these two numbers is 3 by 4 so the distance between them is equal to 3 by 4 minus minus 1 by 2 which is equal to 3 by 4 plus 1 by 2 by cross multiplying them 6 plus 4 by 8 is equal to 10 by 8 which is equal to 1 and 1 by 4 in the fifth question figures are minus root 2 and minus root 3 in these two figures larger is minus root 2 therefore distance between them is equal to minus root 2 minus minus root 3 so which is equal to minus root 2 plus root 3 it can be expressed as root 3 minus root 2 as standard form In the second section we have to find the midpoints of each pair of points by the figures in the first problem. So first question the midpoints of numbers denoting 1 and -5 is half of 1 plus -5. So 1 by 2 into -4 is equal to -4 by 2 is equal to -2. In the second one is 1 by 2 and 2 by 3 the midpoint of 1 by 2 and 2 by 3 is half of 1 by 2 plus 2 by 3 which is equal to 1 by 2 into 3 plus 4 by 6 by cross multiplying so which is equal to 1 by 2 into 7 by 6 is equal to 7 by 12 the third one we have to find the midpoint of minus 1 by 2 and minus 1 by 3 so which is equal to half of minus 1 by 2 plus Minus one by three is equal to half of minus three minus two by six by cross multiplying. One by two into minus five by six is equal to minus five by two. In the fourth one, minus one by two and three by four. So half of minus one by two plus three by four by cross multiplying. Half of minus four by six by eight, which is equal to half of two by eight, is equal to one by eight. In the fifth question, to find the midpoint of minus root two and minus root three, which is equal to half of minus root two plus minus root three, 
if we consider negative sign as common then 1 by 2 into root 2 plus root 3 is it today's section is over thank you